plant mix or greater than one six plant mix. Okay. So right in here, you have greater than If it's T10 to 11, it is lesser. T12 is least. It's L1, it's um, lumbar. And it's L2, it's lumbar. Okay. So, what does the T5 to, to T9 supply? Huh? Four gut. Four gut. So, between your stomach and duodenum, T5 to T9 will have all these fibers forming greater splanking, greater thoracic splanking that enter your GI, your foregut. T10 to 11 will be supplying your duodenum, your jejunum, your ileum. Okay? T10 to 11 and T12 supply your midgut all the way to your transverse colon. Okay? L1 and L2 will be supplying through your through your um, through your uh, hind gut from descending colon to the rectum. So T5 to T9 is for the foregut. It has a greater thoracic spine there, and it's in a it synapses in the in the uh, celiac trunk, okay, and it supplies your foregut. Your mid gut will be supplied by T10 to 11. Let's say this is a T10 to 11 T12. It has a lesser or less Splanchnic nerves, okay, and then it has uh, it supplies your mid gut. Your hind gut is from 11 and 12. So again, it would have instead of greater thoracic splanchnic nerve, it has lumbar splanchnic nerves. They're all synapsing. Now instead of cilia for your mid gut, where do they synapse? Superior mesenteric, because your superior mesenteric supplies your mid gut. And your lumbar and lumbar L1 and L2, where do they synapse? Inferior mesentery. So, if you know foregut, if you know the organs, foregut, midgut, or hindgut, then you're going to be asked, what is the nerve, what is the spinal cord level that supplies this organ? So if I say appendix, what is the spinal cord level of the uh, of the preganglionic fiber supplying your your um your appendix T10, T11, or T12 because it's part of your mid gut. So you have just to think: is it mid gut or hind gut? Appendix is mid gut. It's not hind gut. Sigmoid. Hind gut. So what's what is the spinal cord level? L1 or L2. Now you can be asked that, or you can be asked what is the preganglionic. Sympathetic fiber. So if it's going to the stomach, it is what? Greater thoracic splanchnic. If it is going to the appendix, it is lesser or less. If it's going to your sigmoid, lumbar splanchnics. Okay? Then you can be asked the ganglia. And we said it's either a celiac, supreme mesenteric, or inferior mesenteric. Okay? So those are. The first part of your sympathetic, there's sympathetics. Okay? That's easy so far, right? Now we say one of our problems is you also have to supply your, to supply the, the sensory. So what is your sensory, what is your afferent? Okay? Because in, in the GI, that's what your patient will complain. If you have pain in the, sto in the appendix or pain in the stomach or pain in the sigmoid colon, where are these where are these fibers? These afferents are traveling with your sympathetics. They are traveling in those nerves. With let's say if I have a nerve, if I have a nerve like this and I cut it, I will see all these nerve fibers. Some are preganglionic. Let's say I cut this, I look at this. Some of those are carrying preganglionic sympathetic fibers, and some of them are carrying your afferent fibers. Within that nerve, you have different fibers. So let's talk it from the G, from the stomach. You have this these fibers in here, they're traveling with the sympathetic fibers. Okay? This is just one fiber. 
going into the beat. It's a, in here, it's a part of the beat that runs. Expandic goes in here, and then deviates in here, and then it enters a cell body, and then it enters your dorsal horn. So it's one neuron. Your efferent, your motor, is two neuron, but your efferent is one neuron. What is this area in here? Dorsal root ganglion. So the dorsal root ganglion is the cell body of your afferent. And it is traveling this way. So if I ask you, if I ask you, what carries, if we're, because here we can identify, this, here these don't have any names, it's postganglionic fibers. Where do you find these postganglionic fibers for the sympathetics? Where are these located? If I ask you specifically in, 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 in the cadaver, where do you find this postganglionic sympathetic fibers? Huh? No? In the mesentery. Because here's a celiac trunk. Here's the celiac, is around the celiac artery. So the branches of the celiac artery carry these postganglionic fibers to the stomach. In the superior mesenteric, the branches of superior mesenteric carries those postconglionic fibers to your intestines. Same thing, inferior mesenteric carries all those postconglionic fibers to your sigmoid. Okay? So, here, but here they have names greater thoracic splanchnic, lesser thoracic, least thoracic, lumbar. So, your afferent fibers coming from the stomach are carried by which of the falling nerves into the spinal cord? Identify, is it the greater, lesser, least, or lumbar? From the stomach. Greater, because they have to travel with the nerve supplying the stomach, right? Appendix, what carries the pain fibers from the appendix back into the spinal cord or into the appendix is lesser or least. Sigmoid colon, lumbar, L1 or L2, uh, gallbladder, greater because it's also part of the foregut, your liver, your, pan your gallbladder, your pancreas. Okay? So that's how your afferent fiber. So what is the spinal cord level? At the level of the spinal cord, where do those afferent fibers from the stomach enter? T5 to T9. From the appendix, where do they enter? T10 to T12. And from the sigmoid? L1 to L2. It's really very simple. If you know you for a guy, you need to <laughs> Is that complicated? No. Uh, you asked about the pancreas. Are you taking into account the two? It's Isn't it innervated from both? From the sigmoid and the, yes. But it is, uh, most of it is derived from your, from your foregut. And you have a small part, which is the ventral pancreas, that forms your hindgut, but that's only a small part. So don't worry about yeah. it. And we probably won't ask a question on that because it's complicated. So that is your that is your <laughs> sympathetics, and that's your afferent. So the only difference now is your parasympathetics. Last part. Parasympathetics is vagus. Vagus from travels this way, okay. and so they basically travel around. Okay. They travel through your. Ganglia, do they synapse in the ganglia? They don't. No. They just pass through. And then they travel with the blood vessels to go all the way to the intestines. This whole thing is one cell fiber. Where's the cell part of this? It's in the ventral medulla. It's in the medulla cell body. And the axon travels all the way to the GI without synapsing. It's all a preganglionic. Okay? Even in the mesentery, it is, it is preganglionic, parasympathetic fiber. Okay? Now, so in here, where do they synapse? They synapse in the ganglia in your 
and third in our 